All right. I am back. I realized I hadn't shown you much in the way of uh, combat that I've been doing. Um, so I'll show you that now. Uh, I've been doing a lot of combat in the Viper to sort of improve my abilities. how I combat. Shields are looking a bit battered, but I need the power to my guns right now. I could probably afford to get away with beam lasers, actually. do is we start by scanning them, if possible at all. And um, once we have scanned them, so what we're doing here is we're scanning for um, kill warrants. So this means that if they are wanted in any sector, not just this one, which we know they're wanted in, then we will get paid. This is a sidewinder, so not a big deal to us. Um, He's trying, but it's not working very well. He's just uh, trying jousting with me, huh? Oh, really? Maybe I underestimated. I should really recover the shields before we engage another one. All seems pretty clean. Which is good. Gives us a chance to repair and uh, open up our um, things. Let's. Uh, I guess we'll just drift through the asteroid field a bit just for the lulls. Got a headlight look. So, flight assist basically allows you to fly independently of the direction you're facing. So, you can fly entirely with maneuvering thrusters. The issue is, of course, that you lose rotational control. So, as you can see, we're flying along with this anaconda right now. He's stopped. What's he doing? going a little closer to the anaconda and I'll demonstrate for you. So as you can see we're flying along a vector just faster than the anaconda now. We're getting a little closer. So using this technique 
you, you can keep an enemy in your sights, you can maintain the distance. Um, I'm not great at it yet. And um, this anaconda does hate it when I piss around with flying too close. <laughs> Obviously he's um, gotten used to it now, seems to be a lot cooler with it than I was when I did it earlier on. Um, you'll see the Federation stuff is showing as green to me now. I have turned the flight assist back on. Stop rolling all over the place. Um, which is nice. It makes it easy to pick them out when you've got a large group of them. What do we have? Friendly? Why is that one so hard to pick up? Uh, because it's a bit of very low thermal signature because it's just a bit of chipped off rock. Oh, we got combat. Let's head over and investigate. So, we're in a high danger zone because more potential profit this way. flying right past me. Struggled to get my scan done. There we go. Now, as long as I get a hit with the other federal stuff, they'll count me in on the bounty, so probably should have opened up on that guy a little sooner. But, um, you know how these things go. Let's do some formation flying with these guys, shall we? Join the patrol. Where are we going, buddy? Interested by that guy? Who's that guy? He's just another buddy. What's he doing? Ah, he spotted something new. Alright, guns out. So, there we go, we've hit him. We'll qualify for the bounty, even if that anaconda takes a shot with its crazy guns. And it looks like we're not going to have to worry about any lack of contribution. Target destroyed. You're welcome, buddies. Oh, what's this? And another hostile. That guy's clean. That guy is not clean. What? That doesn't make sense. I'm wanted, and there's anacondas right here, so... Let's fail. Just firing chaff. Looks like we're clear though. No need for silent running even. 
We got something chasing us. It's an anaconda. We're still outrunning it. So it's not going to be a concern, but thankfully, uh, we are outrunning it. We'll be out of range of its senses in a second. In fact, let's. No, let's not silent run. Let's just get out of here. So we'll head to the Whirler Terminal, which is where I've been operating from. And engage. Right. Now what we actually want to do is fly directly away from the rings. Now I am going to start by shutting off the shields. Thrusters we kind of need. I might as well shut off the guns. Right. I can see the entrance. We are within range, so we'll request docking clearance. We'll turn flight assist off so that we drift. Minimize our heat generation. greens so we'll just quietly pop in and head to landing pad 13 getting a little hot so we'll turn off silent running we'll just approach we'll turn all this stuff back on And we'll enter the hangar just so that no one pops in and takes some shots at us whilst we're sitting here. Whilst we're dropping, we'll open up the Starfort services and pay off our fines. Ooh, let's redeem that too. We don't have any outstanding fines. So what we do have is some kind of weird bug. Where we're reporting as wanted. Wanted with the group that finds us friendly. Who owns this station? This is Kerman Kramen Free Space Station. Shields online. Weird. Well, there you go. I guess I'll run around and try and find some beam weapons next to boost my uh, weapons a bit so hell I might as well do that now how uh, how far I'm 10 minutes in so I've been looking to upgrade this for a while uh, for a we don't really want a3 we'll go b3 that's heaps of distance without being too expensive. Eight. Eight's far enough. That's really quite cheap. A2 won't take us where we need. Our mass is 121. So that one's pretty much perfect for what we need. Let's buy it. Get us over 10 light years in a single jump. Fuel 8 tons. French shift drive interdictor. Maybe we should upgrade the shield generator slightly. It's a bit of a nuisance that you can't tell how well they're going to perform. A bit disappointed. I feel like a lot of stuff in Elite is like that. So you, you, it, you do have more shields you do have well actually that's 
bit too expensive because of the power requirements right now. Yeah, and we're not struggling too much with shields, to be honest. Um, so what we're going to do is I have a bunch of bounties to collect in the Naliba system. Naliba? Naliba. Nal Naliba. So we will select Can we not jump straight there? It's only 7.1 light years. Permission to launch. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Right, so onto the Naliva system. Let's see. Hopefully, it'll let us jump there. I don't know why it would make a suggestion for two jumps. I mean, you can see our fuel usage on the bottom right there, how much it's going to cost us to jump that distance. After going to Naliva, I spent some time looking for beam weapons. Uh -uh, I didn't find any, so I'll spare you that. Um, you can just watch this montage of me trying. <laughs> um, what I did was I went back to Kramen, and I bought myself a Cobra to do some testing with mining and trading. So this was next time. Thanks. Bye.